Hey, peace. What's up, y'all? Deep Prime 215 here. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly. So, for this video, talk about the upcoming match at AEW Dynamite Grand Slam in New York City and Queens between Brian Danielson and Kenny Omega. So, this is the dream match. Um, this might be a, a shocker to some people out there. This is not the first time they wrestled each other before. Um, they had a match, I believe it was a singles match actually back in uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Uh, granted, they both looked a bit different back then. You know, Kenny Omega didn't have the long tights or the beard. And, uh, you know, Brian Danielson was, it, he had a different hairstyle back then because, you know, he's had multiple, uh, you know, hairstyle uh, transitions and makeovers throughout the course of his wrestling career. Anyway, now as for this particular match, man, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man, because I never thought this would happen again, you know, and it was so long since their last match. I think it's been, it's definitely been like over a decade since they last wrestled each other. So, um, you know, a lot of growth, um, you know, in regards to in-ring skill and character growth and all that. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I mean, like as far as what I think is going to win, uh, one important note about this match, as, as it stands right now, like this might change before the match between when I upload this and all that, but like, I think this is a non-title match, which is very interesting, right? It's Brian Danielson's in-ring debut with AEW and is going to be against Kenny Omega, the current AEW World Champion, in a non-title match. And I think this might be Kenny's, this might be his first non-title match as heavyweight champion, a singles match. I could be wrong with that, but let me know in the comments if I am. So when I think about that, I think there's only really two potential outcomes for this. I actually think Brian Danielson is going to win. Um, that's number one, uh, because it seems to be like the way he's challenging Kenny is like he wants to wrestle Kenny like for the culture, so to speak. It's not about the championship. Like in every promo he cuts, it's him versus Kenny. He doesn't really seem to care about the championship. So seeing how it's going to be about like, you know, proving who the better wrestler is, so to speak, um, you know, elephant in the room, Brian Danielson can wrestle circles around damn near anybody. So like, I think Brian Danielson winning makes, makes more sense. Um, he has a lot of momentum going for him and you know, the whole world just like, you know, was shocked to see him show up in AEW, even though it was rumored, we're really surprised to see this actually happen. So you have that there. I'm looking at Brian Danielson winning and then two, it's kind of a cop out. I think uh, they could work an angle and maybe have it be a no contest or have it turn into a multi-man tag, which would be honestly a bit of a letdown. But I'm looking at number one, Brian Danielson winning or number two, having it go, having it be like a no contest, potentially spin that out into a multi-man tag, which again would be a letdown. I don't think Kenny Omega is going to win because I don't see what he really has. Not that he doesn't have, not that he doesn't have anything to gain against uh, from beating uh, Brian Danielson. I just think it's a non-title match. Um, Brian Danielson is red hot right now. You know, to see him in AEW after all the years he had in WWE. Um, you know, so I feel like, and you know, like I said, it's been over ten years since they wrestled each other. I think it it makes so much more sense for Brian Danielson to win than for Kenny Omega. Um, but if Kenny Omega did win, I mean, it is what it is. But like I said, I'm going with Brian Danielson. Who do you guys think is going to win? Do you think the American Dragon, uh, Brian Danielson is going to win? Or do you think uh, Kenny Omega is going to win? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. A side note, um, I saw, I was reading an article, Tony Khan said like it, it was going to cost so much money to get Brian Danielson the uh, final countdown. But I think someone should like remix the final countdown. Or like do an acoustic version or whatever so we can get the right theme for Brian Danielson. I'm probably going to keep ribbing about that theme until I get over it. But uh, bear with me. Final countdown. We need to bring it back in one way or another. But like I said, I'm looking forward to this match. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We'll see y'all when it happens. Peace.